You got it to Wolf Pop on KEXP 90.3 FM, live on the web at KEXP.org. I'm Derek Mazzoni, your DJ and host, and it is with great pleasure to welcome Oliver Mutukutsi and the Black Spirit to Seattle. Thank you for being here. Thank you very much. Can we hear some songs, please? Oliver Batakutsi and the Black Spirit, thank you so much. You're playing in Jazz Alley tonight and tomorrow, yes. July 9th and 10th. And um, I would love to find out a little bit more about uh, the uh, cultural center that you have in in Zimbabwe. And uh, how is it going? We're trying to get the university partner to get more students to Zimbabwe. Um, the center, the art center is called Pakare Pai Art Center. And it's a facility that um, new talent can come and showcase what they can do. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
we are not like a college of music where we say where they say you you don't know come let's teach you. Mm -hmm. We are just the opposite. We say hey, come show us what you do, and show us, and we learn from you. Wow, it's it's, it's a place where it deals with with talent, not education per se, but of course, it becomes educative when you teach what you can do best. Okay. Because uh, I truly believe God doesn't duplicate talent. Uh, it's only you and you alone, and there's no better you than you. So show us who you are, and we learn from you. And in the process, you learn from others. It's beautiful. Thank can you. you tell me what the song, uh, Chudi Mundari, what is that about? Chudi Mundari is about inheritance. Um, it's a song talking about Usanga. Usanga in my culture is... Um, is a cultural token that is given to the firstborn of every generation. Mm -hmm. It jumps off to the next generation. The firstborn is given that one to say. Now, in the story of this uh, song, is um, this guy was irresponsible and he lost that that token. He's supposed to hand over to the next firstborn of the next generation. So I'm saying it's about responsibilities. Mm -hmm. Take care of your uh, of your values. Thank you. Can we hear some more music, please? Kusa 
tenda uro Kusatenda uroi Kusatenda uroi Kusatenda uroi Kusatenda uroi Thank you. Oliver Mutakutsi and the Blacksbird playing at Jazz Alley, July 9th and 10th. Um, you recorded the new record with, in South Africa again this year. With I was told with your with your uh, old producer and keyboarder uh, Keith Farguarson. Yes. Am I pronouncing that correctly? Keith Farguarson. Yes. He's he was my, my co-producer on this album, but we recorded in Zimbabwe. Oh, okay. We didn't record in South Africa, we recorded in Zimbabwe at home. And um, it was a pleasure working with him after mm-hmm. splitting for quite some time. You, um, I could listen to you all day. You have an amazing quality to your, to your music, you. and your voice is something that instantly, as I hear it, I know exactly mm, what that Thank you very is. much. Thank you so much. Um, can you tell me a little bit about um, the touring process? Because I know a lot of musicians from different parts of the world, musicians from Zimbabwe, uh, it can be a struggle, but you've been successful. You've had some large uh, large shows and you have a pretty large following um, throughout the world. What is that like for you, like going um, from place to place? I'm, not, sh- I'm not sure where the, the word success is the correct one. Okay. No, I don't think. I've, I've managed to be where I am, but I'm not yet successful. Uh, as you know, life of an artist is a struggle. Mm-hmm. Uh, even though people in general can't do without it, but at times they don't give it the respect it deserves. So it makes a, an artist's life a bit difficult, uh, especially when you don't have the resources. And um, you you depend on on yourself. Mm-hmm. Uh, like at Pakaripai Art Center, I always teach these youngsters the day. Charity begins at home, and you have to convince at home first mm-hmm. for you to be able to go out there, out of out of our borders. So it takes time. It's not like it was easy for me. But if you think of it, uh, I started in 1975, mm-hmm. and I managed to cross um, uh, my borders for the first time in 1981. It's not an easy road at all. No, not at all. Yeah, see. And later on, coming to the overseas, mm-hmm. yeah, it took me a lot more years than that. Uh, it was in the t- almost 2000s. I totally understand. Uh, can you tell me uh, a little bit about the song you just sang, uh, Huroi? What is that about? Well, uh, Huroi is a, a complimentary song. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm complimenting to, uh, to, the, to to the girl child, uh, to my wife, to my daughter, to my mother, uh, that whenever they do good to us, us as men should uh, should appreciate. Mm-hmm. and actually say it to them that hey, you're doing good for me. Perfect, thank you. You're welcome. As having two daughters, I'm going to be playing that song to them quite a bit. <laughs> thank you. Um, can we hear some more music, please?
And the Black Spreads playing at Jazz Alley, uh, July 9th and 10th. That's tonight and tomorrow. Great to have you for two shows. Can you tell me about that song? Uh, Chirinani is about um, about people self-respect. You don't have to feel inferior. Uh, there's no better person than you. Mm-hmm. We are all human beings. Who, uh, we don't get popular. We're not famous. What's famous is what we do, mm. not the person himself. These are very heady and heavy subjects. Do you ever just write a silly pop song? A silly love song? I, I, I don't know what a silly song is, but um, uh, in my culture, the purpose of song mm-hmm. is uh, to give life and hope to the people, uh, to heal the broken hearts. And you don't get to sing a song when you have nothing to say. Uh huh. So, a song has to has has got everything to do with that man walking in the street. Mm hmm. Yes. That's beautiful. Is that an aspect of Shona culture? Is that? Yes, and I truly believe worldwide that's purpose of song. Mm hmm. There is. Uh, you've been, uh, Thomas Mufuma lives in Eugene, Oregon, and he's here quite a bit. And you've, you've, uh, you've started a band with him. No, I joined the band the way he was in okay. already. Yeah. So will you be playing with him uh, in the Northwest? Do you guys have anything planned since you're so well, close together? Well, we've just play, performed together in, in, in UK. How was that? And, uh, oh, beautiful. Brought a lot of memories. Mm-hmm. We're still boys and, yeah. Uh, but I think we'd like to do that here in the United States somewhere. So, uh, plans are being implemented right now. Would you record with him? No problem at all. That would be nice. That would be nice. If having it recorded, that would be oh, awesome. You have recorded many records. You've been very, very busy in your life. 
it's not just, it's like, it seems like you have a lot to say through music. Well, for as long as people, there are people, there's always something to talk about. And mm-hmm. if there is something to talk about, then there's something to sing about. Perfect. Can we hear another song, please?
Oliver Mutukudzi and the Black Spirits, thank you. Thank you very much. So much. Um, can you introduce the band, please? Well, here we have uh, Alice Muringai, and we have Fiona Gwena, uh, Enoch Piroro on bass. Thank, thank you for you being here. Uh, very much. So you're playing July 9th and 10th Jazz Alley. Where are you going after this? Uh, from here we are definitely going out of Seattle and... I don't have that, you know, on okay. here, but uh, definitely looking out of <laughs> probably probably in the neighborhood. <laughs> yes. um, and if people wanted to find out more about these songs and you and your music, where would they need to go? Well, they can they can visit our website www many w's dot tuku music tuku music uh, with a k okay. music with a k perfect dot com. Please come again. Thank you very much. Thank you. You got to tune to Warp Up on KXP. I want to thank Scott, Jim, Justin, Mike, and the amazing Julian Martlow. Warp Up, KXP 90.3 FM, where the music matters. <laughs>